Hi everyone, welcome to another Lou's Redo's. Um, we're going to kind of go back and do a leftover uh, video today, um, but we're going to do something a little bit different. I have some leftover chicken, um, but first up, what I'm going to do is, is actually a, we're making an Italian quesadilla, and, and I'll show you all that, but first I'm making an Italian salsa. So what I did was, I opened up a can of whole tomatoes, I split them, and I cleaned the seeds out. Um, it just makes for an easier eat. Kind of a rough chop. Um, you don't want them too small, I have those already cut in there. And two to the tomatoes, what I'm going to add is some tricolor olives, some red, green, and black olives. Um, we're adding to the tomatoes. We're also going to add, I cut or I diced up a half of red onion. Um, and I'm going to use just about half of that. You're going to save me some of that on the side, right? Yes, I am. I love raw red onion. All right, we're going to mix. Now, I'm going to add here a little white pepper and some garlic powder. I'm going to mix that, and I'm also going to add, I, I diced up um, a green chili, an Italian green pepper. I left the seeds in because I wanted the heat. So I'm going to add about half of that to the salsa. And you're going to save me some of that on the side as well. <laughs> uh, well, there's more. I know, um, but they're, that's already chopped up. And they're hot. Now, they're real hot. As you can see... Um, now I'm going to add some parsley, and what I did was when I cleaned the tomatoes out from the seeds, I split them in half, I used the tomato juice to clean it, and then I strained the juice and I dumped the seeds. So this is just some of the tomato juice. And you can make it as loose as you want. Um, I kind of like that consistency right there. Um, I think we're good. I'm going to add some pink salt. Everyone knows how I feel about pink salt. I yeah. love pink salt. He loves it, we know. <laughs> Okay, so that's really it on that. Um, what you want to do is, is just give it a little taste. And if you're not sure, just taste it again. When you taste it, use a clean spoon, taste it, and put the spoon in the sink. Do not reuse the same spoon. And we're all family here. Salsa is done. So, what I'm going to do here is I have some chicken left over from last night. I have some mascarpone that I've kept out. There's about 16 ounces here. I'm actually going to use it all. What is mascarpone? It's an Italian cream cheese, if you will. Looks like a sweet cheese, almost. Yeah, it's actually really, really good. You could do all kinds of things with it. Add it to pasta, add it to salads. You could do anything you want with it. It's an Italian cream cheese, basically. We now have a mascarpone redo. Yes. We do whatever we want with That's it. That's it. You know why? Because there's no food. Yeah. That's the first one of the year, guys. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> all right. 
we're going to just work the mascarpone into the the chicken. I am going to add the rest of that chili. It's like chicken drenched in queso right now, basically. There's uh, there's more in the fridge. Oh, yes. I am also going to add some garlic powder, some white pepper, and folks, again, you're going to eat it. Make it the way you want. If you don't like a lot of pepper, don't use it. If you don't like chilies, don't use it. Um, and here comes the second one of the year, because there's no rules. There is no rules. We're going to add some parsley to this. And this is basically pretty much the way I want it. So what we're going to do, we are going to take, instead of a... Tortilla, I'm going to use a wrap. And what kind of wrap is that? What flavor? This is a tomato wrap in keeping um, with the Italian, with the Italian uh, yes. staple here. some mozzarella because why not it's an Italian one maybe a lot of mozzarella we are going to cover Give it a minute, we're going to flip it over, and then I'm going to do one more thing for you. Whoops, a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. It's like a pancake, the first one is always... Yeah, the first one, it's okay. Hey, what's making a mess, it's fine. No issues. Put a little mozzarella on the bottom. Ooh. What about some Parmesan? You can. I, I kind of shied away from that. I thought about doing that earlier and I decided not to. You went with the mozzarella instead? Yeah. Another second, let that. What's it all melt? slices just like so
top that with a little of the Italian salsa. And voila. This one I'm going to leave here. I'm going to do one more thing for you. We're going to mozzarella on the bottom. Use. Um, I don't really have to. I can, but this is going to be a little bit different. I see. What I'm doing now, I should say what I have here. Is I made some of risotto with white beans. So we're adding the risotto. Making an Italian burrito. What would be the word for burrito in Italian? Burrito. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what? Stupid question, stupid answer. So I played myself into that. Yeah, she did. So now what we're going to do is it's basically the same idea, um, the quesadilla, the burrito, the burrito obviously has rice and, and I put white beans in instead of the red. Um, again folks, you do what you want. I said this a lot um, in earlier videos, your creativity is only limited by your own imagination. So if you could think of doing something with a leftover, do it. And if you need help, we're always here. Have an issue? Call me. Or email me actually. Or keep subscribing, you know, stay tuned. Because we've got a lot planned. Or rather, the chef has a lot planned. Okay, here we go, folks. Once again, you want to do some salsa with that. You have an Italian burrito with an Italian salsa, an Italian quesadilla. Um, it all kind of works. Um, I know the quesadillas kind of go very well with uh, guacamole. My original thought was I was going to do a wasabi guacamole. Hmm. Um, and I decided instead to put the chili in, in both things for the heat. There you have it, folks. Uh, a leftover chicken redo. Please like us, share us, subscribe, uh, comments if you have any questions about food or you have something sitting in your refrigerator and instead of reheating it and serving it uh, the same way you had it the first time, drop me a note. Uh, I'll give you some ideas on what to do with the leftovers. Or on Facebook, Loser Redo's. There you go. Uh, until next time, be safe and good cooking.